We're packing. My bag is like bricks. If we had a 50 pound limit, it'd be fine. Frontier is pretty sketch. Anyway, our friend let us stay in her house. You know, we had to do a good, give her a good clean. I got Andrea some sunflowers and they're gonna have to go now. We left our friend's notes <laughs> hidden all around the house. Oh, Little yeah. notes like hidden. How is she ever gonna find that? Okay. Oh my God, this is giving Georgia Siwa. <laughs> So we're going back to Florida right now. Puerto Rico. Oh, we're going back. I to said the exact same thing earlier. We traveled a uh, full 360 around the globe. We went to how many countries? Okay. Iceland, Ireland, Morocco, Jordan, a little stop in Italy, India, Thailand, and a little stop in we Singapore. We went to eight countries. Then we went back to the US. Eight, nine countries around the world, and we only spent 2,500 each, so 5K altogether. And the thing is, everyone thinks, oh my God, it's so expensive. That's crazy. You must have so much bank. Literally, no. Anyone can do it, you just have to know how. So, so today we're gonna give you all the tips. But first, we need to get ready to leave because we can't really miss our flight. She also wants to see some properties over here. So we're gonna be going- <laughs> Make that bed, girl. Ginormous freaking hand there. What? <laughs> Your ginormous handprint. Where? Look, right there. It's not that big. God damn. Okay, off we go to the airport. I also ordered some skincare. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow. God damn. So I'm gonna see if I can actually pick it up from the distribution center. Oh, it's never good adding this many stuffs. Isn't it really big? Yeah, like you have big. from there to that house. Like you could actually build a big ass house here. We should plant loads of those flowers. Yeah. This property coming up that we're going to look at is this beauty. No, it's not. This is not it. Oh, oh I thought that one already looked kind of <laughs> done in and then I saw this one. So it's a bit <laughs> of a fixer upper lads. A bit of a fixer upper. Like don't get me wrong. Let's go have a look. We're just looking for land. I found that it was cheaper than buying land to buy land with a shitty house on it. We came here last night. It was so scary. I love those but trains. I just feel like this doesn't feel as big as the other one. Wow, this is so scary. I'm scared. Why is there already a mirror? I just want to know why someone bought this property last year and put it back for sale. Anyways, this neighborhood isn't very nice. The other neighborhood was a little bit better. Found a bus on Airbnb and drove up to this. <laughs> <laughs> we would leave a one-star review. We'd be like, what the hell is this? I mean, that'd be so funny. Okay, now that he's done with his land hunting, Dude. back to what you're all here for. How we traveled around the world to like eight different countries for under $5,000 together. Our first tip is... Pack light. I promise, promise, bro, promise you. These are What's first. happening? I promise, promise, promise you, you do not need a suitcase. And it's going to be an absolute pain in your ass. I carry a suitcase all around. We honestly, now if we did it again, we'd probably just do like backpacks. Actually, yeah. no. We did one carry on between the two of us. With budget traveling, you're going to be going on budget airlines. And how do budget airlines make money? They suitcases. charge you for suitcases. And the thing is, when you're traveling very cheaply, you're most likely like hopping around, going from country to country, and you don't want to have the trouble of like, oh my God, the suitcase just didn't arrive. There was one time we actually decided to check in our carry-on yeah. instead of take it with us. Never do that. The point of the carry-on is to take it with you. We were stupid, don't do that. Because the one time we did that, it got lost. Several times, bringing our carry-on costs more than the actual flight itself. It's crazy. That's why it's like, if you can, just do backpacks. Eight minutes slower to go straight. I'm just gonna go eight minutes slower. It's something that you have to learn, but once you learn it, you'll never go back. Okay, we're gonna give you the next tip when we we'll get to the, to the airport, airport we right now. Concentrate. We just gave a tip for packing light and look at us. Number two, flights. Use Skyscanner. Skyscanner will be your best friend. Don't be picky about what country you go to. Oh, that's important. That's like a big thing. That's part of the same tip, but also a separate tip. If you want to travel the world, just travel the world. Skyscanner has the best feature <gasps> where you just click where you are and you click interested in going everywhere. And so what we did was we literally checked like all the cheapest places and we went to one that appealed to us the most. We'd be like from Tampa, Florida to anywhere, right? And then it gives you literally in order of the cheapest places that you can fly to. And usually the first ones are in the US. So you just like skip over those because you want to go to other countries. And you go to the first cheapest country to fly to. Now. That's interesting to you. Like we maybe skipped like the first and second if we weren't that interested. And then we're like, okay, let's go to this one. Like that's cool. That's how we kept all of our flights under like a hundred. Once you get to Morocco, let's say. From Morocco, you go Morocco to anywhere. Bob's your uncle, Mary's your auntie. It's like maybe the first one's London and you've already been to London so you won't want to go there. Okay, then the second one is Germany. Oh my god. Our route was, was Puerto Rico, Boston, Iceland, Iceland, Ireland, Morocco, Italy, Jordan, Jordan, India, Thailand, Singapore, US. Yeah. Wait our bag and it's too heavy. Five pounds overweight. Where are those people at the airport? 
Her backpack weighs more than half of this. <sighs> One pound. <laughs> Two pounds. Three pounds. <laughs> oh my god. Where are we gonna put all this? Okay, there we go. I'm not wearing that though. <laughs> you are wearing that. No, do not wear that. Take it off. We're, st we're stuffing that in my bag. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm gonna wear every single item of clothing in this bag before I pay a sign. Tears dirty. <laughs> they made us both check out of our bags fit in. And, and I was, our bags are huge. I was, I was like, I was basically put my full body weight on our bags. And then I couldn't get mine in, so I was like, Louis, take, take this one. We're in Puerto Rico. Oh, this is like the first time we've ever sat apart. Ever, ever. Even, we never buy our tickets together, but we always somehow end up in the same seats. But I read the whole time. A guitar. This video, like every other video that we ever film, might be extended till tomorrow or another day because now we're tired and all we want to do is get home. In usual Andrea and Lewis fashion. <laughs> we are filming this over a week after we got back. The next clue we had. Our th clue. clue. <laughs> is about accommodation. And a lot of you are probably not going to love this tip. There's a difference between traveling and vacationing. There's but a big difference. If you want to stay in a five-star resort, go to the spa, that's a vacation. That's why people think like, oh, traveling is like so expensive. It's only expensive if you're like hardcore vacationing. It just depends on what you consider a vacation. Because I consider what we do vacation all the time. Yeah. We stay sometimes in a car. We needed to rent a car and we found they were renting camper vans, which literally was just a car with a mattress. Yeah, it was nice. We, we stayed decided, there for three nights in Iceland in the back of a car. The entire time we were in Iceland because we were going to be traveling from the west coast of Iceland to the east coast. And we were like, we don't want to be like driving, staying one night in one place, driving, staying one night in another place. We just took our home with us yeah. and like we also stay in hostels. We stepped on an airport bench one day. We did. We you gotta this. do what you gotta do. If we get somewhere at like 3 a.m., by the time you get to the airport and you check in and everything and you're actually in bed, it's gonna be like 5 and then you're gonna be awake three hours later. It's like, what's the point? If we get to the airport later than like 4 a.m., we're like... We're sleeping in the airport. So like stay in hostels. Hostels are so cheap. When we were in Thailand, the first half of our trip, we stayed in hostels. The second half of our trip, we stayed in like villas, luxury place, but they were so cheap because it was Thailand. I'm just going to add a little bonus tip. Travel to cheap countries. A 40 minute Uber in India costs us $2. It was $2. Half the time, stay in a hostel, save up your money, which hostels can be really cool. The other days you can stay in like a really nice villa in those cheap countries, which like a villa in those cheap countries is like, like 40 and i that's like mainly our tips you can stay in nice places but not all the time in jordan we stayed in a hostel for most of the stay and then for one of the nights we stayed in like a beautiful dome it was like down a down a fucking down like it was a bloody <laughs> 10 out of 10 experience literally insane actually the most that was amazing. magical those are our tips if you guys have any ideas of videos that you guys want to see from us let us know because we're posting weekly now. Comment. Comment cheap places you would love to travel in the world. Woo! Comment somewhere you'd like to travel this year. Love you guys.